Disclaimer, before I go into any of these products, none of these products were sent to me for affiliation. I'm not affiliated with any of these companies or, or anything sent for free. I bought these with my own money, had them for years before any type of um, affiliations other than the Elgato products that I've mentioned in this video. Just had to get that out the way. What's goody? Welcome back. Hope everybody's staying safe. Finally, finally, I get to show y'all the new background, man. The new view, the new setup, the new room is finally exactly how I want it. Obviously, there is still room for improvement, but uh, what y'all think? What y'all think? So it's quite some upgrades from... Yo, the thunder is going crazy outside and I hope, I hope this doesn't mess my video up. What a perfect time to record this. But anyway, this is quite an improvement from last year's setup I showed you guys in 2021. This is going to be my setup for a good hot minute. I'm actually pretty satisfied with how this came out, man. And I appreciate my friends coming to help me paint the room and set up a lot of stuff. Shout out to Noah, shout out to Kami. So I'm going to do an in-depth tour of my room for you guys. So you guys can see what I did with the room, what I added to the setup, what changes. If you guys are inspired by it, if you want any of these items, I'll link everything down in the description below. Full product names and all that. But let's get straight into it. So not too much has changed except for the room layout obviously painted the walls added a few things to the setup a few upgrades you guys saw me shop for a couple things in the last shopping vlog if you didn't link down in the description below man check that out honestly everything you guys need is here in this video so starting off with my monitors i have two 27 inch curved monitors the one on the left is a samsung 240 hertz monitor beautiful monitor man the colors are great and the refresh rate is all i got it for to be honest with you it's really crisp, really nice. Been using it for about a year now and I can't complain. And the second monitor is the 144 Hertz monitor. I actually play Call of Duty on this monitor. I know it sounds crazy, but for some reason, I don't know. It, it just looks more crisp. I like the way the 144 Hertz monitor looks. I like playing on it. I know it sounds stupid, like I said. At my desk, I had this desk for about a couple years now. It's the Freddy desk from Ikea. I like the way it looks. If I eventually want another desk, I'll go ahead and purchase one. But for, for right now, it's got enough space. It's a nice, it, it matches with everything that I got going on here. So I can't complain about the desk. Now, one of the newest additions that I added to the setup is my Elgato Stream Deck Mark II. It's a white one. I ain't gonna lie, this thing is a lifesaver. Trust me, if you stream regularly and you really, really put in those hours streaming, Get your stream deck. I slept on it for so long, way too long, like a fool. But I finally got it and it's, it's literally a lifesaver. It's like one of the best things you can get as a streamer. For my new keyboard that I purchased in the last video is the Rocat Vulcan. It's a black RGB keyboard and it's actually a smaller keyboard from the last one. I've been liking to have more space on my desk and the smaller keyboard, it really helps. Not having a number pad is not that much of a disadvantage to me, honestly, especially having a stream deck and I can use it for OBS and all that. I really don't have that much need for a number pad only other than luxury. So having this sleek, nice keyboard, man, with a nice metal backplate on it, can't go wrong. It feels sturdy, man. The keys feel so good. My mouse is like a generic cyber power mouse that came with my PC build two, three years ago. I'll upgrade eventually, but honestly, I don't play any keyboard and mouse games like that. That's competitive or anything. So I'm good with this mouse for now. And for my main headset, my Astro A40s TR. Had these for years. I've been using Astros for a long time. It's my go-to, I'm not gonna lie. They last for years. They're sturdy. They got so many different pre says the mix amp is great that's all i'm gonna say not sponsored not affiliated i'm just mentioning it i also have a focus right scarlet 2i2 interface for when i'm making beats i connect my studio speakers to them whenever i'm making beats and i'm producing music i use the scarlet interface for my speaker my mouse pad is a giant corsair mouse pad almost takes up the full desk it takes up about 60 percent of the desk i ain't gonna lie huge mouse pad i don't know the full name but i'll link it down in the description so you guys can check that out if you want a big mouse pad and for my mic the one i'm talking on right now the main mic I use for all my game all my gameplays and streaming and all that is 
the Elgato Wave 3. The best mic I've ever used. Hands down, I'm not even gonna lie to you. The mic is just built with so many features. Doesn't clip, doesn't pop like that. I mean, I really can't complain, especially as a person who makes music and I know how audio works. The mic, hands down, a banger. I also have the Elgato pop filter that came with it in a package that they sent to me. So I appreciate that Elgato once again and the shock mount that came with it as well. All Elgato products and the arm I got, not gonna lie, it's a cheap. Did I just break it? No shot, I thought I just broke my freaking head. <laughs> Yo, I thought I just broke it. <laughs> All right, let me calm down. But yeah, the, the arm is a $20 mic, mic arm from Amazon that I uh, purchased like a year ago. It's not that expensive at all. So, you know what I'm saying? If it, if it broke, it wouldn't be that much of an issue, but. And I have this Thrustmaster T150 steering wheel that I got in that last shopping video. You guys see, so when I play racing games, which I've been getting into lately, other games that require driving. And right now I'm capturing my Sony camera. I've been capturing it with this Avermaster media capture card i bought it a couple years ago and i just been using it for my chair i had this for a minute dx racer chair i ain't gonna lie it ain't the comfiest man but it's all right i like to you know kick it back and that's about the best thing obviously other aside from the looks and it matches my colors red and black you know but yeah this is my dx racer chair man link it down below for my piano i got here 88 key williams rhapsody rhapsody so i use this sometimes when i'm making beats sometimes i just use it to play vibe out and for my speakers the yamaha hs7 best studio speakers they're expensive but it's a bang for buck you get what you pay for with them and my new router is the nighthawk xr1000 w router not gonna lie king is like at an all-time low really good features on it man it really helps me with gaming and, and streaming and doing all types of stuff that i need on it and for my laptop it's asus laptop $1,200 laptop. That's what I'm going to be streaming off of. Well, I'm going to test it out first. I haven't done any tests. The laptop comes with a RTX 1660 graphics card, a Ryzen 7 CPU, 32 gigs of RAM, completely capable of just capturing the gameplay and streaming it, and capable of editing and making beats, all types of things I need to do when I'm on the go and not at home. W laptop, I really do recommend it. So for my main lighting up front, I got an Elgato key light air. Definitely need another one. Like I said, room for improvement on this setup. But right now I'm using Elgato key light air for my main lighting streaming, using it right now. Another product I just picked up is the Elgato desk clamp mount. So now I have my camera mounted to this. It's behind the monitor, it's out of the way. And finally is my PC build. I already told the specs in the last setup video. For my GPU, I got an MSI RT x 3070 my cpu is an i9 10 850k 10th gen 10 core processor i'll be remembering that by heart bro i have 32 gigs of ram in there as well 850 watt power supply more than enough fans lian lee lan cool mesh 2 highly breathable nice cool case nzxt x63 kraken liquid cooler and i have a samsung evo 500 gigabyte ssd and a one terabyte hard drive so now moving around the room i got a few things that i added that that are just quality of life improvements organization adjustments i have my calendar right to my left so i can write everything down that i need to do for the month and i have the whiteboard back there to remind myself what I'm gonna do for the day. I recommend getting a calendar if you are in a content creation and you are trying to be your own boss and you gotta get yourself organized and you have trouble with managing your time. I recommend a calendar and a planner. I also just recently put up these shelves on the walls. They're two lac shelves from Ikea. They're about 70, 74 inches, something like that, over six feet. But my shelf to the right is everything that used to be on top of this desk. It was so cluttered, it was driving me crazy. So I moved everything onto the shelf to my right so I can still display it. A lot of cool collectibles, a lot of things that I just like to look at. So I put them on the shelf to my right. The shelf above my my bed is stuff that I, I sometimes move i actually use i got my hats up there i got a couple of hell, airsoft masks just stuff that are more personal items the most fire piece in my opinion are the govi glide to the wall lights right behind me i had them set up in a configuration man i recommend the govi lights they're so vibrant all the all the lights from that company are just so so vibrant like the colors are so crisp they also have these different modes like this stacking mode so all the lights are actually linked up and you can do some crazy stuff with them. You know, it, it just helps my ADHD sometimes. I just like to stare at them. Also hook them up to Twitch. I have your chat, put in commands and change the lights like that. Also have it linked up to my stream deck so I can hit red or blue, turn them off, turn them on straight from the stream deck. I also have the S right behind me, right behind me. The S is the Nano Leaf Canvas lights. I set them up just like that. 
you can also use them the same way with Lumia Stream. It'll react to events like subscribers, followers, raids, hosts, all those things can be programmed straight into the lights so they can all work together. I do recommend if you want something that, that'll kind of hype up your stream a little bit and keep your chat engaged. Say something about my twin bed. And right behind me, I have this little floating shelf thing that my mom actually bought right right under my poster hope you guys like all my posters man i try to fill up all the empty space on the walls with posters but on this little shelf i have a clock so my stream can always know what time it is this is just a fire digital little clock if you want something more modern and cool when the lights are off and i'm just laying in the bed the clock looks so fire it just looks like numbers on the wall in the dark i like it man i really recommend it. it's only like 20 dollars. i also have another one of my dual sense controllers on there i don't use that one early i'm just having it sitting there until this one actually dies then i'll switch to that controller and i'll put this one up on the wall and to the right of that i had this little cube organizer thing i got from walmart it wasn't that expensive actually um, but i put my camera bag some stuff i use in there a lot of little miscellaneous things in the drawers and last but not least next to the closet i have this organizer here with a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff papers files in each little drawer but on top of it i keep secret weapon y'all know i'm a marvel geek and my favorite character is thanos man so anybody who's in my streams y'all know i'll be using the gauntlet take care of business but that's it man L rate my setup one to ten down in the comments man if you guys did enjoy this video drop a like let me know down in the comments what your favorite piece of the room is how what you think about my setup oh forgot the on air sign these neon signs are very cheap they're like under 30 dollars so if you want to cop one i'll link it down in the description below but what do you guys think of the new background man it's gonna be looking like this for a good minute again rate my setup subscribe for more banger content make sure y'all follow my socials follow my twitch i play all my games live on twitch and then they come to the youtube so if you want to see any of my gameplays live hit up the twitch man make sure y'all follow my socials thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on the next video be easy